Toviyahu Tobit 4. In that day, Toviyahu remembered the money which he had committed to Gaveel in Rages of Madai, and said with himself, I have wished for death. Wherefore do I not call for my son, Toviyahu, that I may signify to him of the money before I die? And when he had called him, he said, My son, when I am dead, bury me, and despise not your mother, but honor her all the days of your life, and do that which shall please her, and grieve her not. Remember, my son, that she saw many dangers for you when you were in her womb, and when she is dead, bury her by me in one grave. My son, be mindful of Adonai Eloheinu all your days, and let not your will be set to sin or to transgress his commandments. Do uprightly all your life long, and follow not the ways of unrighteousness. For if you deal truly, your doings shall prosperously succeed you, and to all them that live justly, Give alms of your substance, and when you give alms, let not your eye be envious, neither turn your face from any poor, and the face of Elohim shall not be turned away from you. If you have abundance, give alms accordingly. If you have but a little, be not afraid to give according to that little, for you lay up a good treasure for yourself against the day of necessity because that alms do deliver from death and suffers not to come into darkness. For alms is a good gift unto all that give it in the sight of El Elyan. Beware of all whoredom, my son, and chiefly take a woman of the seed of your fathers, and take not a strange woman to be your woman, which is not of your father's tribe. For we are the children of the prophets." Noach, Avraham, Yitzchach, and Yaakov. Remember, my son, that our fathers from the beginning, even that they all married women of their own kindred and were blessed in their children and their seed shall inherit the land. Now, therefore, my son, love your brethren and despise not in your heart your brethren, the sons and daughters of your people, in not taking a woman of them. For in pride is destruction and much trouble, and in lewdness is decay and great want. For lewdness is the mother of famine. Let not the wages of any man which has wrought for you tarry with you, but Give him it out of hand, for if you serve Elohim, he will also repay you. Be circumspect, my son, in all things you do, and be wise in all your conversation. Do that to no man which you hate. Drink not wine to make you drunken, neither let drunkenness go with you in your journey. Give of your bread to the hungry and of your garments to them that are naked, and according to your abundance give alms, and let not your eye be envious when you give alms. Pour out your bread on the burial of the just, but give nothing to the wicked. Ask counsel of all that are wise, and despise not any counsel that is profitable. Bless Yahuwah Eloheikem always. Rather, bless Yahuwah Elohechem always, and desire of him that your ways be directed, and that all your paths and counsels may prosper. For every nation has not counsel, but Yahuwah himself gives all good things, and he humbles whom he will, as he will. Now, therefore, my son, remember my commandments, neither let them be put out of your mind. And now I signify this to them, that I committed ten talents to Gavael, the son of Gavrayahu, at rages in Madai.
and fear not, my son, that we are made poor, for you have much wealth, if you fear Elohim, and depart from all sin, and do that which is pleasing in his sight.'"